my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas. Today I'm hosting my Look for Less collaboration. I'm bringing this video back out from my vault of videos that I've done for years, but haven't done for years. So <laughs> I gathered a few of my friends here on YouTube, Robin Johnson, Nicole Northgarden, Gentle Thrifty Mama, April Adair Shares, and Coffee with My Sunshine. We're all bringing you looks for less. So we are gathering inspiration from the internet, magazines, catalogs, stores, wherever we find something that inspires us and we're bringing it to you for less than retail. So without further ado, let's jump into it. For project number one, I am doing this pretty pink little vase from Anthropology. And I'm starting off with this ballet slipper pink Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to paint this little 99 cent vase that I thrifted. These little vases are a dime a dozen at the thrift stores. So I highly suggest checking there first when you are uh, going to do a DIY project. You can even get these cheaper at thrift stores than you can at the Dollar Tree. Now I'm filling my little paint palette here with Apple Barrel paint in Golden Sunset as well as Admiral Blue. And then I'm also going to be using Waverly Chalk Paint in White, Crystal, you already saw the Ballet Slipper, and Celery. I'm starting off using this cork as a round stamp on my vase and I'm just filling in the little bare spots as need be because it isn't perfectly flat. I'm adding in just a touch of white to one of the little spots with Admiral Blue in it to make a lighter blue for the flowers because on the original vase from Anthropology, the flowers were a lighter blue and then they have a darker blue center. I'm adding them here in just random spots in odd numbers. I'm using a push pin as another stamp for these little round yellow berries, I would call them, or buds maybe. Your tools don't have to be expensive. I actually couldn't even find a pencil, so that is how I came upon the idea of using a push pin. Here I am adding some vines in with the Waverly chalk paint in the color Celery with a liner brush. For the finishing touches, I'm adding a little bit of the Admiral Blue to the inside of the blue flowers and a little swirl of white to the inside of the yellow buds. And this is how it turned out. On for project number two is this gradient blue vase. Now I couldn't find a perfectly cylindrical vase, which I thought was really odd. So I grabbed this one from Dollar Tree. 
I'm painting a little more than half of the top of the vase in white and giving it two coats. Then I'm taping it off and painting a little more than two thirds of the bottom part uh, with the crystal blue. And doing two coats on that as well. Now I'm adding in just a touch of the Admiral Blue into the Crystal Blue and painting that on the bottom of the vase. However, you'll see here that it looks a little too little boy blue, so I then add in some of the Waverly paint in celery just a touch to make it a little more green and it was perfect. And this is how it turned out. Project number three is the easiest and my favorite. I'm starting off with this little Libby bud vase that I got two for a dollar from Goodwill and some witch hazel. I'm going to fill the Libby glass up a third of the way with witch hazel. If you don't have witch hazel, you can use rubbing alcohol. And then I'm going to put three to five drops of orange essential oil in there. You can use whatever scent you want. This is just one of my favorites. And add the sticks that I got from Walmart. They are about $1.37 for this whole pack. We're going to swirl them around in there uh, one by one and then flip them over to help the absorption of the wood uh, so it travels up the wood as well as down the wood and uh, you get a better smell. Then I'm adding all these little tiny pieces of flowers that I have gathered from old wreaths. Some were old floral bouquets and they're just little tiny pieces that were I thought were pretty so I kept and I'm going to place them into the vase in a way that I find pleasing to my eye and I think is pretty. And it is simple as that. And this is how it Thank turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up. I do a lot of thrifting on my channel. It's a passion as well as some DIYs, some vlogs, and home decor. Also, don't forget to check out the description box. It is, uh, has all the links to the participants as well as the playlist down there. If you are on PC, it'll say show more, and if you are on a mobile device, it'll have a downward pointing arrow. Just click on those, and um, it will open up the description box for you. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye. Oh, Odin, what are you making?